This video will introduce you to running Vericut Force. Here we have a Vericut Force training project open. First, let's review the Tool Force data settings in Tool Manager. We highlight a specific tool and then choose the Tool Force data tab. The features on this tab enable you to specify cutter and feed optimization characteristics for tools to be optimized by force. Notice that the chip thickness limit and force limit settings are at their default values. We also have Add More Cuts turned on to provide a finer level of optimization. We have these same values for tool number two. We'll run force in analyze mode to collect real data that we can use to populate these fields. To do that, we'll open the Optimize Control window. Select the Forge Settings tab and choose Force Mode Analyze. Next, we need a material file directory. A force material is a file containing information about a material's machining properties when cut by a specific tool material. In this directory, we have two material types available. This job is cutting titanium, so that's the one we'll use. You can view the tested ranges for the material and the different tool types that you have. We now need a directory to output information to. Press Apply and you're ready to analyze the job for forces. Notice that the optimization light is on, letting you know that forces are being collected. When the simulation is finished, you can view the force charts. There are four charts available for viewing. This one is showing the force of all the different tools. You can choose to view just one tool at a time if you wish, and hovering the mouse over the chart gives you readings at that specific location in the NC program. This tool is running at a less than 200 pounds of torque. We can switch to the chip thickness chart and use the same technique to find out how the chip thickness is running. These are all running less than 2,000 chip thickness. Clicking on an area in the chart finds that block in the NC program. This can be a handy debugging tool. So now that we know this tool is running under 200 pounds of torque and less than 2,000 chip thickness, that's information we can use. We can switch over to tool 2 and you'll see the graphs are different because of the different cutting conditions encountered. This one also runs well under 200 pounds of torque, except in this area here. It needs a little more. Chip thickness is also running thousands and a half. So if we make the assumption that the NC program that we're currently running in Vericut ran well on the CNC machine, then we can use the chart information, chip thickness, and force values and plug them into Tool Manager for those tools. So as we saw, the first tool ran up to two thousandths for a chip limit and forces up to 200 pounds. We can then switch over to the second tool and do something similar. This one ran a little bit higher on the force limit. We'll now save these values for this and future optimizations. We can now run force in optimize mode and optimize the feed rates for this program. We'll switch force mode over to optimize and run the simulation one more time. When the simulation ends, we'll see the calculated savings for this particular optimization session. Our projected savings is about 30%. If we know the machine time and the hourly rate, we can go ahead and calculate out what the savings will be for the number of parts we're going to run. Close that window and you can continue on and analyze your job. We can view the force charts 
And now what we see is a comparison of the original NC program in blue and the optimized NC program overlaid in red. You can turn either of those off with the options here. Again, we can analyze by tool if we wish and compare any of the four different charts that we want to see. You can even compare them in combination. As you can see by the charted values, the chip thickness and the force limits that we put on these tools are constraining the optimization process. What we're seeing is the optimized program is running a little more efficiently than the original one was. You can also compare the two NC programs with Vericut's Compare NC Program Files window. This shows us the optimized program on the right, and you have the original NC program on the left. The blocks in red were replaced by the optimized blocks in blue. Air cuts receive a special higher feed rate, which the machine can safely run at when it's not removing any material. Using the Add More Cuts option that we saw is what enables these feed rates to get broken up into different blocks like this. And that's it. For more information on force, see the Vericut help.